The Lao People's Revolutionary Party will hold the 10th Congress of the LPRP soon. The mass party members' gathering is held every five years to highlight the preceding five years' achievements and to set goals for the next five years. In welcoming the upcoming event, we'd like to bring back memories. The Lao People's Revolutionary Party, or LPRP, Secretary General Jumali Sayason, give guidance on foreign affairs. <laughs> Warmly welcome and congratulations to the 10th Congress of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party. The country's successful hosting of regional and international events along with expanding diplomatic and cooperation ties with foreign countries were outstanding foreign affairs achievements over the past five years. The Lao People's Revolutionary Party, or LPRP, Secretary General Jumali Sayason pointed to these accomplishments in his address at the Third Congress of the Party Organ of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which concluded on September the 15th. <laughs> He said, despite the fast-changing and increasingly complicated global situation with political, economic, and social crisis, such as terrorism, disease outbreaks, natural disasters have, that have occurred in many countries. Under the Ministry Party Committee leadership, the foreign affairs sector has succeeded in implementing its burdening political duty. He praised the ministry's leaders in paying close attention to political ideology training for civil servants and party members so they understood the party directives and guidance well and were aware of and respected the law. He also praised the ministry for implementing foreign affairs activities following their planned priorities under the slogan, Preventive Diplomacy to Advance the Mission of National Defense and Development. Secretary General Jumali noted the country's practice of the direction given by the 9th LPRP Congress on foreign policy adherence to peace, independence, friendship, cooperation, and the expansion of multilateral and multidirectional cooperation ties in the form of bilateral and multilateral frameworks has brought new atmosphere to the country's foreign relations. He pointed out the number of foreign countries Laos had established diplomatic relations with, which reached 136, and the 38th diplomatic representative offices the country had overseas, while more countries expressed their intention to establish relations with Laos. Deputy Minister Salim Sai Komasit was elected as the Secretary Party Organ, and the recently appointed Deputy Minister Mr. Sang Pit Hum Bun Yuang was elected as Deputy Secretary. Other members of the Ministry's Party Standing Committee are Mr. Tong Savan Pong Vihan and Ms. Kampao Eun Tavan, who were also appointed as Deputy Ministers recently. The new Executive Board of the Ministry's Party Committee has 15 members in which the oldest members are 57 and the youngest are 47 years old. <laughs> Secretary General Jung Lee praised party leaders in the ministry as young people who are knowledgeable and capable. He stressed for the new party leaders to enhance revolutionary ideology and increase close relationship with members of the general public to find out and understand their living conditions and intentions, especially poor people. He called on the leaders to be role models in learning the party directives, state laws and regulations, socioeconomic development plan of every period, translating them to programs and projects of each subsector for effective implementation. 
continuous learning about their professional subjects, especially from working practices and colleagues, along with having clear positions and being sensible as wise counselors to the government on foreign affairs, was also in the call by the Secretary General on the leaders.